So sometimes we have unstable isotopes, and if they're particularly heavy ones, they tend to give out alpha radiation. And when this happens, the nucleus will give out two protons and two neutrons. These go flying off in one direction, and what's left behind is a different element. And there's a way that we can represent this using the standard scientific notation. Now, if we're looking at our representation of an atom here, the number at the top is the mass number, and the number at the bottom is the atomic number. Now, when we lose an alpha particle, an alpha particle has a mass of 4 and an atomic number of 2. So if we want to find the mass of the new particle created, we'll take the mass of the old particle, minus 4, and the atomic number will be the atomic number of the old particle, minus 2. And sometimes we show this as an alpha symbol to be the alpha particle, but because it's the same as a helium nucleus, just two protons and two neutrons, that's why we can often give it uh, the symbol He in our equations. Here is an example. So here we have a highly radioactive element and it is going to lose an alpha particle. So it's going to lose a mass of four and then two protons. So the sums we need to do are two, four, one, minus four. So two, four, one, minus four will give us two, three, seven. So the mass of the Neptune is going to be two, three, seven. And then we need to do the atomic number, so that'd be 95 minus 2, giving us 93. And often when you get questions like this, you don't have to know which element it's going to be, but you have to be able to do some very simple sums, just taking off 2 and 4 really, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, you don't have to um, know what uh, the, if you've got element 93, you don't know that, what that needs to be. It's often filling in the gaps on one of these decay equations. And that's it? That's it.